Zoe for having me. It's a pleasure to be here, especially when I understood that the night was going to be about Samos. My introduction to Samos was about as random as anything could be, but it seems to me that that's where the blessings of life have come for me. And uh, I also want to thank Margaret and Gregory Auger for introducing me to Zoe and, and being at the, at the spearhead of this. Um, I've, um, I've had a wonderful life, and, um, and I'm very grateful for my musical background. And my father, who went to Juilliard and loved jazz, I grew up with, with a panoply of styles and um, a, a wide palette of music. And at the same time, as I was talking with Gregory on the way down here, social and cultural influences have been somehow very interesting to me all my life. And as a boy, I read Aesop and loved him. I thought everyone loved him as much as I did. Perhaps not, but I know we all loved him. <laughs> and, um, and then there was a time when um, I purchased my first home, and it had a library in it. And I had very few books because I'm the type of person that would read a book and then say, oh, Zoe, you've got to read this, and I would give it to her. So I now had a library to fill, so I started collecting books and, and also had uh, subscriptions to many, uh, to many libraries that would send me books every month. And um, I would break them into three columns. Either I have read it, I will read it, I will never read it. <laughs> However, I read every preface. Well, when Aesop's Fables came in, and there virtually is a new edition of Aesop's Fables each year. There is a major worldwide edition of Aesop's. This has been my findings. In fact, it, a new one just came out. I read in the, what started me on this journey was reading in the preface saying that Aesop was born a slave in 620 BC with no access to wealth or influence. And yet when he died, he was the ambassador to, Cre uh, to King Croesus of Lydia who was the wealthiest and most powerful man in the world. And I asked a question that changed my life, which was, how did he do that? And um, it's hard to explain scientifically what happened, but I can tell you this, that I felt a rush of energy that went through me, and within six months, my life had turned upside down, and in a wonderful way. When I read this, I was in the studio with Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones. Quincy and I were partners. Um, and um, very soon, I found myself in New York, and all the time, people were egging me on, saying, oh, you must do this, you must do this, and then I found myself um, in the libraries of New York, studying everything that was written, anything that had Aesop's name in it, I read for six months, six hours a day. And um, there is very little actually written about him. In fact, Herodotus is the only one who actually has written something about him, and you will find that in the, in the leaflet that we left with you is the only thing that is actually written about Aesop. 